Afternoon all, it is Wednesday, it's five o'clock, you're in my manor and it is Scotch Corner. As you know, Webby Sports Renner here in sunny Tenerife, in my little manor. And when I say sunny Tenerife, believe me, it is not. Look at the weather. Can you see that? Cloud all around the island, all over the Canaries today. It is what it is, but still beautiful and warm. 22, 23 degrees, absolutely fantastic. I'm in my back garden by the pool, as you know. The boss has gone out for a bit of shopping, so I thought I'd do my Scotch Corner this afternoon here in my manor in cloudy Tenerife. Right, this is going to be the penultimate Scotch Corner. But next week will be uh, the last one next Wednesday on the basis that uh, we're coming to the end of the season. We know who's going to win the leagues, who's going to be runners-up, and it's basically nearly all the uh, playoffs finals will be uh, basically nearly finished. And we've got the Scots corner, we've got the Scottish Cup final coming up in a couple of weeks' time, which we do a big, big vlog on that. Right, if you've never joined the um, my club, it is a club and it's a YouTube channel, Webby Sports Rounder. My name is Paul Webb, been here 30 years as we all know, three pubs. I've had a lot of Scottish footballers uh, in my old pubs, the world famous Cardinal Bar, as we all know. We've had Ian Durantin, cracking lad, Bobby Lennox, John Fallon, just to name a few. And, um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Retired nine years ago. I'm given the opportunity to do a sports channel here through Tim uh, Dowd, living with MS in Tenerife. So I took it up. We've been going over just over a year now, and we're going to have a big second year. We're going to go for it. We really, really are. Big shout to my Terry, my number two, Simon, my number three, Sean Murphy, my number four, number five is my pal Kevin from Middlesbrough, and there's one or two others dotted in between, but the big one, again, on top of that, is my Facebook page, man, Foggy, my number 99. If you're over in South End, near Leon Sea, pop into the Oakwood, and uh, say, it's Foggy here, put it on his tab. Simple as that. Right, without further ado, because I'm off to England tomorrow for four days to see my new grandchild, and, uh, Alfie, George, I'm looking forward to her, and my other grandkids. Can't wait. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Good, I love it, mate, and I cannot wait. Right, a little bit of Scott's Corner now. Let's get this done nice and quickly. I'm going to kick off last Friday. We had the Scottish Premier Playoff. Uh, Partick Thistle took on Airdrie home and away and it ended up Partick Thistle 4 Airdrie 3 on aggregate now a little bit later on I'll tell you who they're playing in the final on Saturday we had the uh, up to the SPL league we got the bottom 6 Livingston took on St Johnston who could be relegated they're going to be playing it in the playoff with Ross County so Livingston beat St Johnston by 2 goals to 1 Ross County lost it home to Motherwell Five goals to one. The Fur Park boys went and give them an absolute hammering. Top six boys, well, you know. Apart from the big game on Saturday at 12 30, Hearts Jambos took on Dundee and they beat him by three goals to nil. And the Paisley boys of St. Mary and Kevin, yeah, me pal, who um, got his own YouTube channel, as you know. Kevin, the Scotsman, he went with his dad. He said, Webby, they played absolutely awful. They lost to Killy, I think, who finished fourth in the league, uh, or will finish fourth, by a goal to nil, and they were really, really poor. So if you've not joined Kevin on his um, on his walkabouts around uh, Benidorm and Tenerife, please go on to him and subscribe to him. Kevin, the Scotsman, you'll love it. Right, the big game. Celtic, the last one of the big four. Celtic have not lost any of them this year. This was the Rangers' chance. They had to win this to give them any chance of winning the SPL League. As I said before, SPL League, last 10 years, nine times Celtic. Once was Rangers, 2020, 2021, when Stevie Gerrard was in charge at the helm. It ended up Celtic 2, Rangers 1. And to be honest with you, even when the player sent off, I don't think Rangers played that bad, tell you the truth. First and foremost, O'Reilly, 35 minutes, got the first goal with his left foot. He is a cracking player. Is he going to stay or is he going to go? I think you've got Atletico Madrid, Spain are after him, and one or two top premiership clubs. Uh, on top of that, um, Lundstone, 38th minute, Rangers on goal. Was it his fault? Was it not? Came across quick. 
into the bottom left hand corner that put them two up the home side of Celtic and the crowd were going absolutely ballistic big Dominic my good pal he was there giving him a good shout see him a couple of weeks time uh, so it was 2-0 to Celtic within a couple of minutes Dessers the number 9 for Rangers got a goal back made it 2-1 so now we're talking now he's fighting it's gonna, it was going to be an absolute cracking game second half what happened Lundstrom decided his head was in the clouds after giving an goal. He went for a ball, took the guy out, red card, bump, gone. It's as simple as that. But I believe he's off to Turkey next year at the end of this season. And that was the end of the game. But I thought they had a couple of chances, Rangers. Celtic should have been a couple of up, probably early doors. Massive crowd. The trouble is, you see, there's no away fans. Next year, there will be. So it's all green and white around so always going to be a bit difficult for Rangers but I thought they played quite well to tell the truth and probably even deserved to get a point out of it but it is what it is it ended up Celtic 2 Rangers 1 it looks as if they're going to win the league unless anything stupid happens so that ended up on that on Saturday right uh, but, 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 let's have a look championship playoff again as I say Hamilton took on Aloha uh, on aggregate they beat them by five goals to four and Inverness beat Montrose by a goal to nil so the final will be Hamilton against Inverness on Saturday at 5.30 whoever wins that will go up into the championship and don't forget Falkirk won the league won convincingly so Hamilton finished second if they beat Inverness then they'll be the first and second to go into the championship then in Division 1 playoffs Peter Head took on Spartans Spartans obviously overran Peter Head twice to beat him, um, five goals to one on the second leg and um, overall 7-2 and beat him 2-1 at home so well into Spartans now they take on either Sterling Albin or Dumbarton and it was 0-0 uh, first leg two goals to one Dumbarton won so it ended up Spartans are going to be taking on Dumbarton in the Division 1 playoffs right Division 2 playoffs East Kilbride taking on Stranraer that ended up two goals apiece um, second leg will be on Saturday at 3pm so the first leg 2-2 two, two, Saturday 3pm get the results on that next week's vlog on Wednesday right before we move on a little bit of news uh, let's go back to the bottom six Hibs took on Aberdeen at home at Easter Road they got a bit of a drumming by four goals to no Hibs I think that was the last draw for Montgomery who obviously had been in charge for eight months so they've given the red card he's had to leave been there eight months I think they've had something like um, is it six managers in four years what's happening with uh, with the Hibs side but uh, there's a little bit of news about Hibs coming on a little bit later in the show Tuesday last night Rangers had 11 changes to take on the Dens Park of Dundee United and it ended up 2-0 to Dundee it was in the first 25 minutes you're thinking what's happening crowd very sparse probably I don't know 35 40,000 was only there, there was a lot of empty spaces a lot of empty seats but Rangers came back and won by five goals to two. Now, there's something that I want to um, to mention, which you'll probably say as well when you watch this vlog on Catcher. Countwell, young lad, got it from Norwich City, was it two seasons ago? What's all this about kissing the badge? What's all that about kissing the badge? It's the same as O'Hara Coventry. They kiss the badge. Next thing you know, they don't sign new contracts and they're off. They're going to double, treble their wage. So to me, that's all bull. Absolutely bull. It really, really is. You only play to the team that you signed the contract for. As soon as your big money comes in, you'll be gone. You'll be kissing the badge in a new club. So any comments on that, please send through if you believe. I've checked one or two things. It's in the highlights as well. And there's one or two Rangers fans saying exactly, what does he do? Kissing the badge. Now, now. It doesn't work with me, that's for sure. So let me know what you think. Uh, back to the playoffs for the Premiership. Point of Thistle took on Wraith Rovers. Wraith Rovers finished um, second beyond Dundee United, my pal Liam Grimshaw, who they won the league by about five or six points, clear points in the end of the The Tanner Dice boys, well done to them. And Wraith Rovers, uh, the second leg on Friday, they beat Point of Thistle, two goals to one. If they win that or even draw, 
they will take on either St. Johnson or Ross County to who wants to be in the SPL League. So good luck to Wraith Rovers, St. Johnson or Ross County to see who finishes in the SPL League. Right, back into Division 1. Dumbarton taking on Spartans. Dumbarton with 2 1 winners on the home leg, and the second leg is this Friday. So good luck to either side on Division 1. Who wants to move up into the Championship? Now, a little bit of news I've checked out. Let me just go for, let me just check this out first. Um, I think we all believe that the uh, top goal scorer of the SBL was a Shanklin, and we all believe that he'll probably get the uh, player of the year player of the year award and the season which he did so well done to Shanklin I think he's 28 years of age now I think he's a, probably a Rangers fan so I've been told but that's between me you and four walls is he going to be moving at the end of the season let's have a look so well done to Shanklin back to Hibs Easter Road big shout out to me pal John of um, down in the village in Kalasovaki lovely lovely fella John and Easton John and Sheena they're uh, big big Hibbies fans and as I say now soon as that Montgomery's been gone and they've had four managers again in six years or six and four so I get to think it's six and four they, they need a big kick up the backside what are they doing right they brought in Malcolm Mackay okay the new sporting director so his job is to overlook all the club and who is going to be the new manager of Hibernian and he starts on June the 1st so he has the whole aspect he can have a good earner. I think he's the man for the job. I really, really do. I do like Malcolm McCoy. So good luck to uh, Easter Road boys. Big shout to Alan Fraser as well. Uh, as you know, Alan's on me. I give him a shout out all the time, Big Al, because he's a big Dundee United fan. He sent me many messages because he's he's got a new job starting soon. So I think he has to start working. So, you know, get yourself out of bed early. He's up half past seven this morning, sending me a, a message. Whether he part of this or this, Dunbar and that. Well done, sir. Cheers, big man. Thank you for all the update information of Scotland. Right. As I said, um, Rangers. Now, Rangers Football Club, they're monitoring two young lads, okay, for next season. Kilmarnock player, number, he's only 19, David Watson, midfielder, and Connor Barron from Aberdeen, he's only 21. So I think Rangers now, I think they have to look. They need... There was, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think there was a big difference between Celtic and Rangers of this season. But there is, when you go Celtic Rangers and you look in it, Hearts, Kilmarnock, Motherwell, Aberdeen, Dundee, etc., etc., St. Mirren, there is a big difference. That's why a lot of, a lot of English, they say, oh, the SPL League is, you know, it's not very good, it's not very classy, but the money's not there, is it? But if Celtic and Rangers came down playing the Premiership, oh, that would be just unbelievable, wouldn't it? Would it ever happen in my life? I probably doubt it very, very much. But Rangers need to turn the corner and they need to bring some young blood in. I think they want a big number nine, but there's only one team that's got that. That's Man City in Ireland. What a player he is. So that's the latest on Rangers Football Club. A little bit of Celtic news. This young lad, Matt O'Reilly, 23 years of age. 35 games this year, 15 goals, 12 assists. Okay, He's Danish, born in London. What an absolute quality player. I think he picked up three awards at Celtic uh, last week. Player of the Year, Fans Player of the Year. I think he was absolutely phenomenal. So, Atletico Madrid and one or two Premiership clubs are after him. Talks a great story. Watched him uh, a couple of days ago. Knows his stuff. Nice lad. I think he will go places. And he has got one head of a left peg. That's for sure. Uh, what else have we got? Player uh, of the season for Rangers uh, was Connor Goulton. He was the vice captain, so well done. Played a cracking, had a cracking season. He did, and on top of that, again, Jack Butland, the goalkeeper of Rangers, he won the Fans Award. Super, what a goalkeeper! Big shout out to my good pal Dave Watson, ex Barnsley. He was there eight nine years, and he's his mentor. And I thought Jack Butland had an absolutely fantastic season. He really, really did. Kept him in the game, kept him close to, to Celtic, but it, uh, it wasn't to be, was it? That's for sure. So is he going to stay or is he going to go? That's the first question. And the second question is, is he going to go to the Euros and play for England in the squad? The 26th squad could be named soon. I think he should. 
That's another story where me, Terry and Simon we're gonna have a, and Kevin we're going to have a big discussion on the Euros coming up next month. Because we've got two friends here. So I think Jack Butland is a fantastic goalie. I know it's only the SPL, as everybody says, but you still got to be between the sticks and you've got to do the job. So Jack Butland in the Euros, big man. Right. Uh, what else we got? Oh, big shout out to Tavernier, uh, right full back of, uh, of Rangers. He has become the highest defender scorer ever in Britain. Uh, what's he got? About 16, 17 goals. All right, I know he takes penalties, but you still got to have you still got to have it there, aren't you? You still got to have the confidence in the passion to take the penalties. So good luck to him. And I believe that Stevie Gerrard wants to take him over to Saudi Arabia. Let's see what happens there. And one of two Rangers friends of mine thinks he might be a little bit slow. Um, listen, he's had a good season. Cracking player, nice fella. So big shout out, obviously, to Paul Stewart, to Jim Donaldson, um, to Alex Assel, to listen to so many, to Ian, to John Fleming. Yeah, you're big John Fleming. Listen to me. John Fleming is a massive Rangers fan. He's coming out in a couple of weeks' time. He'll have a couple of sherbets with him in the Monte Cristo. If you're in Kilsyth, the cross butchers down the main street, pop in, tell him you watch Webby Sports Radio, you'll get a discount. Okay. <laughs> Did I, did I say discount, John? Sorry, John. You'll get a discount, right? You'll probably, you'll probably take a leg off for you, that's for sure. So good luck to that, man. So cheers, uh, cheers, big John. Look, done. Celtic, Killy and St. Mirren, Rangers got the hearts. It's not confirmed. They haven't won the league yet, but it looks foregone conclusion. We can all say... It was that game, it was this game, it was that game and what have you, but um, it is what it is. Looks as if Celtic's going to win the league. Rangers second, then you've got the Jambo, St Mirren, Killy, you've got Killy was fourth and what have you. So well done to them. Next Wednesday, we will have my last Scots Corner and then we'll wait till next season. It'll be bigger, better and brighter. And what I'll probably do is probably get somebody to come on with me every now and then and we'll have a little discussion on any of their Scottish football clubs. So we've got no ideas, OK? Um, and good luck to Celtic or Rangers for the Scottish Cup final. I think it's on the 25th, 24th, whatever the Saturday is at 3pm in the afternoon. Same as the Man City, Man United Cup final up there at Hamden. Celtic have won the League Cup. Looks as if they're going to win the League. So it's up to Rangers now to get themselves a trophy and win the Scottish Cup. That's a big day for them. So good luck to them and good luck to Celtic. So what I'm going to say now, from cloudy, sunny Tenerife, in my manner, thank you for joining, and I hope you've enjoyed my little bit of news on Scottish football and all the latest news. We're going to make it bigger and better next year with any shadow of a doubt. If you've not subscribed, hit the like button as well. It's the like button that sends it to Google, and Google sends it to everywhere all around the world. So please do that. If you're not going to watch my video any of my videos don't subscribe only because you know it blocks it so if you're going to subscribe subscribe and watch the videos make the comments send the comments later on catch up and i will answer every single one so for me webby as i say if you like what you hear you like what you see subscribe to webby sports random scott's corner always on a wednesday at five o'clock so good luck for the rest of the season and i'll see you on the next one you take care now